today's video, which won't be this dark forever, don't you worry, we're off on a collection. We are getting a machine that I have unfinished business with, that I don't have the most loving relationship with. Yes, we are heading through High Wycombe in rush hour on a Tuesday night to pick up a GTEC Airram K9. Yes. Let's go get it and see what it's like. So I got halfway home, right, turn around and come all the way back because it's still easier than carrying on home and then coming back later. There wasn't a crash on the M40, so hopefully that'll sort itself out. Or I can go a different way home from here. Yes, it is apparently a GTEC Airram K9, which works. I don't know how well. She did caveat and say, you know, I don't actually know if the battery holds its full charge, but it does work. That's it. So, after my last fun with an original GTEC Air Ram that I replaced the cog on and it stripped its cog again, all of the gearbox assembly that melted as they always are. They're quite expensive normally. I, I pay, well, I pay, I'm going to pay £15 for this. Please don't cost a load, which is an absolute bargain in terms of air I mean, even if it's completely toast, I could probably make the £15 back fairly easily. So we are about to drive right through the centre of the Holland Mountain Drive, right through the centre of High Wycombe. To the other side of High Wycombe to go and get this thing, and then I drive all the way back through here, these exact roads, because it's going to be easier to go home. So catch you well when we get home really i won't bother doing too much in the car because it's a bit dark and but a mere 40 flipping minutes later we are home i did film the entire drive home i'll stick it it'll be sped up i'll put it at the end of the video i won't do it in the beginning therefore if you don't want to see it you don't have to Ugh. but what have we got well it was on Gumtree, it was actually £30, I offered 15 and here we hold in our hands a GTEC Airram K9, which is the pet version of the first generation GTEC really. I'm, this is the first time I've really looked at it, so it's all sort of there really. The handle... Does it collapse down? I can't remember. It, no, it doesn't collapse down, does it? The handle's there. The battery is here. However the heck it comes out. Come on. Whoa. I don't think it's a genuine... I don't know. I think it probably is a genuine battery. It's not coming out. Anyway. Down here we have the bin. Typical, whoa, typical GTEC condition here. They really don't hold their dust where they're supposed to. These cordless sweeper things. You can just about do this with your fingers. Come on. There we go. And that gives us access to the filters, which are... St ah. Staffed full. Wow. Let's let's get some of that down here so we can see if it'll clean it back up again. It might then have some suction. Ready? Oh my goodness. Wasn't gonna get Benchy out in this video. We might have to change that. So there's that. The bin also lifts out. There is the bin. There, typically, all inside there is full of rubbish, which is roughly tapped out. Underneath, had the model number DRM zero DM zero zero one AR zero nine. 
brush roll is looking fabulous as always yeah it's well it's a g-tech air um, basically they're not fabulous i don't love these has to be said but obviously it doesn't really matter what i do and don't love because i'm not really mr influential so i can say what i want so i pop that back in there pop that in there and hope actually because we now have lots of dirt on the floor. It does work. Oh, that sounds good. Oh, dear. Sort of all that. I'll have to run a proper vacuum over this at a later date so yes it runs but it's not happy not happy at all it really shouldn't sound like this yeah but you know it's fixable what else did i get well i got the charger which is in excellent order nothing wrong with that and a second bin I haven't really, ah, uh, there's all that dust. I haven't really looked at why we have a second bin, but we do. Identical, probably just as filthy as the other one. But yeah, a full bona fide works bin. four miles on the battery so far my 15 pound which possibly one of the cheaper g-tech air vans that is second hand is trying to do but yeah no so what to do with Let's call it the cheapest there. Uh, there'll be collectors that have got them cheaper, but you know, if you went on to eBay, you wouldn't find one for 15 pounds. That's why I've never had one. Because even you know, broken, these have a high spares value. So you would be looking at probably still 50, 60 quid for just a working complete one. And then you'd be bidding against all of the resellers and the repairers. So we might have the, one of the cheapest GTEC Air um, Mark 1s. There has been, so let's get a series of videos out about it. It won't be a week's worth. I haven't got, I can't make that much content out of it. But in the next video, we'll strip it down. And then the video afterwards, we'll repair anything that needs to be repaired because it might need a cog and stick it back together. And then do an after video. So stay tuned. So we'll drop them all fairly close together. So. You'll we'll see it when it comes up, and yeah, we'll see if we can polish some life back into this, although alive, teetering on the edge, GTEC Air Ram K9 Mark One. So, there we go, really, before video done. Stay tuned if you want to watch a sped up footage with some music behind it of the entire, of the drive home, actually from a Tesco two miles further up the road, because I really need a wee. So we had to then do another four miles. So yeah, enjoy that. Hope you enjoyed this. If you're going to turn off now and go and watch something else. And I am this GTEC Air and K9. We'll see you soon. Bye bye. <music>